First of all, before we begin, I want to thank you very much for watching this video because it does mean a lot to me. My name is Demetrius Villa, and I'm the president and founder of the High Speed Rail America Club, an organization that supports for all aboard Florida to the fullest extent. This video is in response to a very disturbing situation to the counties north of Miami-Dade, Broward, West Palm Beach at the Treasure Coast counties. Recently in the last month, Treasure Coast um, commissioners in Martin County and Indian River County voted to s support a bill to push for $4.1 million taxpayer money to combat all aboard Florida. Now, this is very disturbing and I am speaking to the majority of citizens in the Treasure Coast. I know you can hear me and I know from the 54,000 people who signed the petitions of Florida Not All Aboard that that represents 10% of the entire Treasure Coast. So the majority of Treasure Coast citizens I would expect are full for All Aboard Florida. So we need to get banded up. Uh, for example, there are some organizations like Citizens for Transportation Options that are for All Aboard Florida. Now, I do live right next to the tri rail tracks for all Florida East Coast, and if you do know history, that Flagler and Florida East Coast, they did create most of all of um, South Florida and what we have today. Without them, South Florida would not exist how it is today. And Florida is now the third largest state in the United States, and that's a good thing, and also it's pretty alarming because we are getting a lot of people in the city, into the states, and we do not have the right infrastructure to support moving all those people around. And this is where All Aboard Florida comes in. This could be the spark for not just the state of Florida, but the entire country and bring higher and high speed passenger rail systems for the nation. Now, like I said, I do live um, less than a mile away from the Florida East Coast tracks, but rather than attacking it, I mean, I do hear the trains. I am for All Aboard, for all aboard Florida and Florida East Coast. I mean, right next to me is also Miami Gardens Drive, and they're working on repaving the road, so we do hear them working on that at night. <laughs> um, not, not really much of sleep, but, I mean, we're, we're for it because we know in the long run it'll be better for, for the state and for the streets, and it'll be safer for everyone to go on. Now, I'm speaking from the heart right now rather than from my mind, and I want you to think of this. Um, to think of the children, not just you know me or like think of someone in the twenties or in the teens or someone who's a who's a child. I want you to think of their future. Do you want to tell them a story later on at how we shot ourselves in the foot in Florida? How many times we try to bring high speed rail and it always ends up in a disaster because there's always a vocal minority who always destroys it? Or do you want to tell them the story of how we all banded together and cooperated and brought out one of the greatest ages in American history? And maybe you can even tell them on one of the All Aboard Florida trains. Now, as it comes to, um, to the environment and financial aspects of All Aboard Florida, I can tell you right now that environmentally, trains are a heck of a lot cleaner than cars. I've even spoken to All Aboard Florida myself that through the exhaust system of the trains, it reproduces from the, um, the gases, it produces pure nitrogen and water. And for those of you who know um, chemistry and the composition of the Earth's atmosphere, 70% or more than that is nitrogen. So what that's creating is like, it's a heck of a lot cleaner for the environment. So it's absolutely false that a train is environmentally unsound for the environment because these will be the cleanest trains from the EPA for, for sure uh, that Siemens is creating and they're unbelievable. In the financial aspects, there was an anal analysis that came from a Brown University professor and it was a very biased report. I read the whole thing myself. I've even highlighted all over the place. It was very biased. It was full of assumptions. And it was not towards um, the economic. It was, it, was very, it, was, it was very bad for an economics professor to do something like this that was extremely biased. And I can for sure tell you that if you just look at the facts, look at other countries, look at Japan, look at Germany, look at their, um, their financial records for trains and companies, and you will see them that they most of them are getting profits, especially all the Japan rail companies, um, the German companies, and even France, which France is owned by um, by the government. It's not even a private company, and they're still getting profits. And for sure, all aboard Florida will be getting profits from this. Now, of course, with every other project, there is always going to be like um, a limit of not you know gaining money, but after that, it will be financially sound. And that's I'm, I'm speaking from the truth and from math and statistics. It will be able to make a profit in the long run. And that's what we're looking at is the long run. 
Now I'm gonna speak from my heart. It, that's this is what we mean. I'm, like I'm gonna say again, do look at your children. Do look at people who are young, and look at those and what future do you want to give to them. We can't make this happen. I implore you, citizens of the Treasure Coast, either join citizens for transportation options, join the High Speed Rail America Club. We have a Facebook group. You can putting the link right down below in the description of the video. Please join us. Let's make our voices heard. We are the majority, and we can't stand for minority ruining it for the rest of the population of not just the Treasure Coast, not just Miami-Dade County, Broward, and West Palm Beach, or Orange County, or Brevard County, not just the state of Florida, but for the entire nation. I thank you for watching this video. God bless you, and God bless America.